Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid, aka Vicious274. A lot of you guys have been asking me to, uh, to show you my setups and the obstacles that I use, so here we go. First off is my deck. It's a Fingerdex D2, clear grip, exotic bottom ply, white bearing wheels, uh, Fingerdex trucks, Fingerdex tuning, and I don't know if you can see there, blue pivot cups. I really like this deck. It's actually my first wooden deck that I ever have. It's the only wooden deck I have. And so far, can't complain. Uh, some of the obstacles that I use is this rail. It's about 8 inches long. It's got lots of non-slider on the bottom. And uh, I got it off of eBay. I think I got it for like 8 bucks or something like that. Pretty good grind rail, nice and smooth. Another thing that I have is this kind of a slight up ledge. What I did was I just took a piece of wood and just cut it up on an angle. You can also use it as a manual pad. But another thing that I did, kind of modified it. I put a little hole here on a 45 degree angle. And if you just take a regular piece of pen uh, pencil with an eraser at the end, you stick it in. You got yourself a pole jam. Now the cool thing about this is that the eraser holds the pencil in from sliding out when you're doing your tricks. So for a homemade pole jam, I mean, if you don't like the length of your pencil, you can always just shorten it. But I just put in a, a fresh new uh, pencil there. Does the job. Another thing, and it's my favorite, is my box. It's got a marble top. Now the reason for this finger deck sticker is because there was two holes here with screws so my wheels kept getting caught on the holes so by putting the sticker over it, it could slide over the holes without getting caught. Now this box was um, hidden in my brother-in-law's garage and he was going to throw it out so I said forget that, I'll keep it. One man's uh, trash, another man's treasure. Now this was a jewelry box back in the day. Looks kind of cheesy, but it's perfect for doing tricks on. Now the cool thing is, you slide out this tray, and it holds everything else that you got. These are all my tech decks. Everybody starts off with tech decks. I'll show you those. I have, majority of them are Tony Hawks. I've got Tony Hawk Birdhouse, another Tony Hawk Birdhouse, this is the first one I ever got. I got a Tony Hawk Black 6, and then another Tony Hawk Black 6. Now this one here, the Girl Skateboards, this is my daughter's deck, she loves this board. So I gave that to her. She uses it every once in a while. And then there's the old school. Bam. Christian Hosoi. This guy was the king of vert. I mean, Christ Air, Rocket Air, two of the tricks that made him most famous. So if you don't know, check him out. Do a search on YouTube. Look up those tricks. Christ Air, Rocket Air. He's one of the reasons why I got into skateboarding back in the day and also because of Tony Hawk. These two guys, two of my favorite skaters from back in the day. So, those are my setups. Those are the obstacles that I use. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, keep fingerboarding. Two fingers. Peace!